race? Just me. Okay. Uh, I can <laughs> Thank you. I know what you're probably thinking. Why do I want to hear about race from a girl who looks like she gets out of a speeding ticket by crying to the cop? Uh, but you would be incorrect on two counts. Count the first. I would never get pulled over for speeding because I'm not a very confident driver. Count the second. My dad is actually Mexican. Uh, the reason why I look like this is because my mom is so white that when she had all three of her kids, she decided to give us names with all the same initials so that she could, quote, get a good deal on monogramming. <laughs> the best way to save money on monogramming is to not get anything monogrammed, but that was sort of a non-starter for her. Uh, my siblings are actually a bit more stereotypically Mexican looking than I am. In fact, whether or not my brother would get arrested for possession of marijuana is based entirely on the fact of has he shaved his little baby stash earlier that day. <laughs> Movember is very difficult for him. It's more like Mo racial stereotyping. <laughs> if you were to, in fact, line my family up in like a racially instigated family Christmas card from my dad to my mom, it sort of looked like a printer running out of ink. <laughs> I do like being Mexican, though. Um, I don't often receive a lot of like negative racial comments, obviously. Um, but the one racial comment that I do hear a lot uh, that I don't appreciate whatsoever is Montezuma's Revenge. Has anyone here heard about Montezuma's Revenge? Yeah. Ooh, okay, just like a couple of people who don't want to admit that they don't season their food. <laughs> uh, I think what bothers me the most is that I hear about Montezuma's Revenge oftentimes from people who will go and spend $300 per night at an all-inclusive resort, and they're like double-fisting frozen margaritas as if they don't understand that the ice is also made out of water, Karen. <laughs> so whether or not they don't season their food or if they just actually need to be drinking more water in between those frozen margaritas is sort of neither here nor there. The real issue is the fact that there's really only one ice that us Mexicans need to be concerned about. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my time, thank you guys.